Uh, yes. Excellent connection. Oh, um... Um... Uh, it only says end stream for me. in the public service phase. I'll do it someday. Not a full member, so I cannot. Are you ready? Okay, hello and welcome. This is Force 13 Europe live covering a... What are we covering today? <laughs> we are covering a severe weather event, a high-risk event. Across the Benelux and Germany, at the moment, most of the thunderstorms have moved into Germany with the accompanied risk of tornadoes, high winds, large hail, and local flooding. Nick, what are you seeing there on radar? Uh, yeah, well, we're monitoring the so-called Lipstadt, or, well, what is now, uh, what we I would say, Paderborn. Uh, supposedly a tornado that is not on the ground just yet, but uh, we've been seeing reports of a rather pronounced uh, rotation seen on radar. Um, if we just look back one image, uh, you can definitely oh god, you can definitely see this uh, the structure here. I'm not, I'm not the biggest expert, but that definitely just look uh, just looks like something that you wouldn't be one to see uh, anywhere near you. Yeah, um, absolutely. But this is heading towards yeah, the absolutely. metropole of Paderborn uh, in the in the district of Zeust. If anyone in the region that is living there, please be prepared for the storm, as this could be um, maybe damaging in terms of wind and rain. Yeah, and like you were saying earlier, there were reports of a tornado that was at least trying uh, to to um, what's what's the phrase? Um, uh, like shape, touch down. Touchdown, that's it, yeah. Um, not sure if it has, but we're seeing reports of it. Um, if anything, you've got... So, Alex, what have you got on your stream right here? So, yeah, this, so this, was... is, this is footage of a supposed tornado that was or maybe is on the ground in the NRW region of Germany. And this is our first confirmation of a tornado today. And this might be one of more to come as the event progresses. Yeah, not good. And this was about and, uh, five, 10 minutes ago? Around that time, yes. And you can you can see debris flying through the air, like branches, leaves. Here you can see garden is just, well, backyard, I must say, is just going haywire. This no. table is almost being lifted off. On all this is a very dangerous situation I'm going in France, uh, Germany, my bad, Germany, as instability is still peaking and the warm front is still strengthening, meaning those systems still have a lot of energy to feed on them. So Nick, what are you doing I... there on the trader? That's another thing I need some opinions on, um, if you just look at my screen here. Um, oh, yeah. Jesus, what the hell happened here? There we go. Um, a minute, um, it's refusing to cooperate with me, um, a minute. Let's keep it zoomed out then. Okay. What so, I'm seeing here on radar is 
Um, this thing here, which is off the border of the, the North Rhine-Westfalen and Spanish. Onsberg. Onsberg. It's just south of Onsberg and what literally looks to be like a... It looks like a hook echo. It to definitely form. does. It's... Yeah, it looks like... Hello, Jacob. So, uh, right. okay. what are your thoughts on uh, the event as it progresses? It's moving east quite rapidly. And cells are looking to be in discrete. Yeah, or this is a hook echo. Alone mode. That's hilarious. It's yeah, no, that, that is. Yeah, uh, we're looking at the Really? It's moving straight yeah, eastward. That's the, a town of Eslor in Sauerland. They could be looking at something potentially dangerous if this does confirm to be a tornado. I don't have any Doppler radar or anything because. Uh, I'm trying Quality to find not a webcam particularly for the you. best. Um, if anyone could uh, pull up a Doppler imagery, that would be very uh, appreciated. Yeah, uh... would be. Um, yeah, so again, potential severe, um, possibly like possibly a tornado threat uh, occurring right about now for, uh, I want to say this, for this area. Burke. Honest smoke. For the Arnsberg area. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Jacob, what uh, do we expect of this event as it continues to, yeah, reach? So near right now we are and... expecting some uh, discord supercells firing up. One is uh, actually, uh, one has actually a hookeco near Arnsberg that we are looking at right now, and uh, as. Uh, we go through the day, uh, they will merge up into one big uh, linear mode uh, um, thunderstorm with possibly a lot of supercells. Uh, we are expecting uh, mainly uh, in like 2 hours 17, 18z, we are expecting it to... Uh... Jacob, sorry if I'm interrupting, but there's mm -hmm. likely a strong tornado now near Paderborn in Germany. Right now? Right now. Right now. Oh, Nick, could oh. you check out the radar? Uh... What? Oh, yeah, there you are. You are right there. Radar seems Where to indicate is... a, a strong tornado now. As rotation has increased dramatically, please take shelter immediately from Cafe Shader. What is the powder born? That's uh, one of our most respectful participants in the Discord server. Um, yeah, I don't like this uh, imagery. So come. Or Spaderborn. <laughs> I'm not good yeah. at. Uh, I'm not good you, at. If you want to look at my screen real quick. Yeah, this. Can. Yeah, this helps a lot. Thank you. Got it. Yeah. That's a really pronounced signature on radar. You can see the clear rotation right here and yeah. right here. This is a couplet, as they call it. Um. I forgot which is which, which is two and which is away from the radar. Is sync red is away, green is towards. That's dope. Um, let's see. Um, Jacob, could you see if there's any observations from that area? Uh, I can look for them. But as the uh, this uh, all linear uh, mode supercells will progress uh, towards. Uh, German-Polish border and German-Czechia border, uh, we are expecting it to lose its tornado potential and uh, gain again on uh, wind gusts uh, reaching uh, nearly hurricane force winds and a lot of microburst, downburst events. Let's see. Especially in uh, near Dresden region and uh, Leipzig. Uh, let me get on. Some satellite imagery right here. Where is it? There it is. There it is a satellite imagery of the past six hours. Here you can really see how the event has progressed. It started off with a big superstar in France. Okay, now I know. It moved no. on through the Netherlands and then into Germany, where multiple supercells are now popping up. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they're all their own systems. They're not dependent on each other, which is bad news, considering that often indicates uh, an enhanced risk of tornadoes. 
Yeah, that's not good. That's a risk that uh, people do not want to hear, especially in this part of the world. Um, and again, if something like this does happen, take shelter. Uh, take shelter immediately. And... There seems to be a tweet. It's literally an SC. There's a reply to Kevy's tweet saying confirm touchdown rain wrapped. I'm still waiting for confirmation for this, as I don't know the reliability of this. Uh, where this on our zone, elevated or high risk? Uh, it should be in high risk. It is in the high risk zone. I yeah, think. it's in yeah, high risk. I've got to say, like, yeah. isn't there like a level? Yeah. I want to say a level four right now. Yeah, correct. that's a click. That, that's clear. Yeah, hook. Ow. Yeah. All right. So. Let's say clear your TVS with Hook Echo. Yeah, this is... Uh... Okay, so where is this going right now? It's going f uh, towards Altenbecken, Holzhausen, Worden, Holzminden. So apparently... The tornado footage we showed is from that same quite hefty sell we've just looked at so yeah that's not good and um, uh, how do I say it I'm yeah really I'm really looking for footage right now as I'm uh, yeah, unsure how large this tornado is and how dangerous it will be. But people in Paderborn should take shelter as soon as possible. If you're not inside, if you don't have a shelter, just go to the room most inside your building, the sturdiest room out there, often the bathroom, on the lower floor if you have one, or the kitchen. Those places are often sturdy. Um, yeah, the cells have increased in intensity. Uh, let me just get an infrared look at it. Here on satellite imagery, you can see how the cells really intensified as they enter Germany. They are, seem to be topping out on the infrared scale on uh, this website, showing those cloud tops have quite possibly reached about 10 kilometers in height. And that's often leads to some very powerful updrafts. Jacob, do you have anything to add about those? Uh, I found something on Twitter, but it's not yet confirmed. But uh, one citizen of Paderborn said that there's a funnel cloud was seen uh, 15 minutes ago. But I lost the tweet. Let's see. Uh, are there yeah, direct impacts? This should do here. You can really see how active those cells are. Right. Regular lightning strikes almost non stop. Yeah. yeah, you still see new ones. Yeah, the Paderborn well. cell. Got it. The cell's really active. It's like, it seems to be one of the most active cells at the moment. Well, except for this cluster right here. Yeah, but um, new strikes popping up as well. That's interesting. Yeah, so the risk for extreme lightning strikes lightning. is definitely extreme not, lightning uh, activity was expected, by the way. So now we are looking at possible tornado. Yeah, there are like a lot of clusters of this, are coming uh, up. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, where are you, Luxembourg? Oh yeah. Pay attention to the uh, near Verdun, Chalon, uh, Champagne Ooh. area, Champagne, in the vicinity of Verdun. There is a uh, supercell right there. Seems to be producing a powerful hook echo. So yeah, the cell, there is a hook echo. Holy the crap. cell might try to put down a tornado on the ground as well, so north of Luxembourg. This is really... Uh, it's really active though. It's really, Let's really see, active. there's a multi-cell right here in 
near town and Bitwork hears a straight of hail, loads of rain, well, loads, potential flash flooding, regular lightning strikes, and wind damage. All right. Can s sorry, can I just interrupt? Can someone translate yes. the, the tweet that's been posted in our internal discussion room? Because that looks quite mm -hmm. serious. I can't. And yeah, I don't quite know what's okay. going to Or anyway. this uh, Nurture Bendix tweet? Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. uh, by a powerful thunderstorm earlier this afternoon, large damage was. Large damage occurred in the southeast of the Netherlands. It's potentially about a small tornado if, it's, if we look at radar imagery and footage. So there was a potential tornado in the southeast of the Netherlands. Oh dear. And then this tweet has been published, it looks like, by professionals. Yeah. So it's really... The damage is massive throughout the Netherlands, and that was mainly straight line winds, but there's multiple reports of potential tornadoes. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's how not... big is the city of uh, Paderborn? How much uh, people? Uh, I would say it's a 150,000. 150, okay, uh, what do I see really... there right there on the imagery? I saw something that looked very dangerous there. That There's looked like two a little thingies control. that I'm kind of wondering about in uh, the state below it. It's uh, Rheinland Pfalz. Mm. Okay, those are definitely trying to form hooks. Also, we can have, just have we just have two cells right next to each other. One is closer to the uh, to the capital city of Koblenz, I believe. Um, whilst the other one, uh, take a look at the cell northwest of Trier. That uh, cell looks to be having a quite a hook echo. Oh, oh! oh. Didn't even see that. <laughs> what the hell? What? That's right. quite <laughs> pronounced. So okay. If anyone has lost readings on this, we might have a potential tornado coming there soon, if not already. That's definitely a powerful yeah. ship cell. It's small and powerful. At... Yeah, the town of Bitbook uh, could definitely be some potentially devastating spot. Just look at the progress and... Oh dear. Try and slow it down, but um, let's see. Yeah, that cell's definitely trying to organize. No, over Luxembourg, it already had some sort of a hook echo. If you just look over, yeah, here, there's just near look. that cell looks to have maybe produced a small yeah, that's tornado in Luxembourg. If you look at how the radar developed, it may it might have just crossed over. It's, it, um, I think it has recycled. I think there's a cycle, or basically. After a tornado has touched down and it runs out of moisture, let's say, then another tornado could be attempted to uh, be put down if the supercell has enough strength. And that's called a cycle. That means the old wall cloud of the old circulation of the tornado just um, weakens and balances as a new one intensifies and also tries to put down a tornado. Mm, That's I have a one information about that um, uh, thing near Bitburg. There was a confirmed rotation near it uh, 15 um, minutes ago. I forgot to update imagery, and just the latest one has really a, a little bit more concerning. Um, yeah, I do not like the look of that. Mm. Yeah, it's possible. It looks like this cell isn't really yet trying to produce a second tornado, but it could reorganize into one. That's a powerful inflow. We have, so we could say that we probably have a, about two to three, maybe even four uh, potential spots th that we could see some uh, more dangerous uh, tornadoes develop out of. Um, <clears throat> I want your attention towards, yes, that cell there, right there. Oh, 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 too far. That, uh, yes. Well, and that cell looks to be producing quite a hook echo. Isn't that the same uh, Heimbach Weiss cell? 
Ghost Strike. <clears throat> yeah, I think almost every cell that is discreet right now is trying to put down at least a powerful show in terms of a massive cyclone. And in the meantime, there's more and more damage reports coming in from Limburg. Ripped off roofs, ripped off uh, yeah, trees, ripped off the ground. There's even roof damage, looks like. Yeah, there's quite a lot of damage. Here, take a look at this, Christian. Yeah, hang on. Okay, I'm... Okay. Minor to moderate. Oh. Here, you oh, can dear. see damage that was in Limburg. That's in Limburg right now. That's like... Oh, there. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. That like, is, that is, roof yeah. damage is up to... Um, yeah, it's almost destroyed a part of the roof, that's, like, that's big time. the entire roof. Absolutely. Yeah, Those that's... are quite sturdy homes as well. If you look at that, those are not uh, weakly built ones. They're a solid brick. So, if you manage to rip off those things, uh, you have really powerful winds. Uh, let me get the synoptic chart up right here. So, what's making this system, this event so volatile, is because we're dealing with a, what's called a trough on the, the west side of the low, which is the cold front side. On the east and southeastern side of the low, we're dealing with a warm front and a convergence zone. So what this creates, this colder air loft in combination with this warmer air loft in such a small proximity, air flowing south to north, meeting polar air, it creates a highly unstable situation that's easy to that easily produces tornadoes and maybe even worse soon. Is the nearest cell degraded uh, somewhat? Or it just looks to be slowing down? I see, okay. I found a possible tornado footage from Paderborn. Yep, it looks know. like to be a rain wrapped. Is it? Okay, can you, is it possible for you to stream it into into here so I can show it on stream? Uh, let's see what you said. Oh, that footage we showed at the start of the stream. Oh, yeah. Yes, let's show it again. Uh, it's in the so... Times. Okay. Can someone get that up? Alright. See, it to be that there, is... there have been... Uh, got it. That was interesting, but yeah, this is the one we showed at the beginning of the stream. There it is. So this was apparently the Petaborn tornado. It appears to have been a lot of damage in the downtown of Petaborn. Yeah, and again, just um, you can't see it. That you can't see it. So don't, don't go out looking for it, uh, especially if it's. They'll just pause it right there. You will not be able to see it at all. Let me show you where it is. Um, uh, get my drawing tools right there. So, all marked in red, and like this. Here you can see it looks like it's about right here. Here you can see the rotation. But yeah, again, if you're in this area and this, I'm not sure if this is still, uh, but again, if you, if there is one near you and it's rain wrapped, do not go out looking for it because you will not be able to see it. And Before you know it, it's on top of you. There's a huge hukeko near Koblenz. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and we, it has we, a very big rotation. I've been looking at the past. But yeah, I have I'm just going to go back that. to Alex's screen for the moment here. Like, where was this? At a born as well. Okay, and yeah, you can it's just see how, how strong the winds are. The, like, the plants are nearly being ripped out from their pots, basically. But the wind direction changes at the end, so... Yeah, it can go. It can be really sudden. 
So like, as you can see, like the wind's blowing over uh, to the left, uh, coming in. First from the right. from the right to the left, and then it's from right the left to the right. To the right. It's the same then... strength almost. Yeah, we can just about. It might see have been a down can really see it or a tornado. There is it uh, from the right. It's so uh, yeah, coming in left to right. And there is it from the left. That indicates a cyclonic rotation. Yeah. So again, that's not. Not good. There are some more that's footage. The same, that's probably the same Paderborn. Uh, this is as well Paderborn. Yeah. Again, just look at the amount of debris in the sky. Like, you do not want to be outside in that. Because, again, flying debris could hit you, could possibly even severely injure, yeah. or, possibly, or worst case scenario, kill you. Yeah, you do not want to be outside during that. So I don't know why that. Well, I don't know why there's cars on the road, like moving cars on the road in that clip. Like anything interesting going on on radar right now? Any cells to pay attention to right now? Uh, well, we're looking at the cell just northwest of Koblenz with uh, what uh, Jacob um, said. To the guys, a. have you seen this uh, on this uh, video that um, that Alex is showing? Uh, yeah, there just... seems to be... Yeah, that's a final cloud. That's a final cloud on the 9th to 8th. From 8 to 9 seconds. 8 to 9 seconds. 8 to 9 seconds. Yeah, 8 to 9 seconds. It seems to be a final cloud. Yes, there it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. So we have... Clearly we have tornado right now. That's a tornado, yes. Born. Let me just get my drawing tools so you can see what we're looking at. Right here. Yeah, wow. That's the final cloud with uh, with debris uh, at the bottom of it. Those are not small chunks of debris. Again, look at this. That's at least got to be a few meters uh, in size. That, it, that one that you've highlighted there. Like, those this are, is, that is out of small. leaves and dust. Those are, those are big objects around. right there. They're really light, by the way. And on like, the 21st and 22nd uh, second, you can see another thing uh, that's uh, really there, characteristic for a tornado. Uh, Mesophortis is going from them. On 20 to 20. Clearly a tornado in Paderborn. Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and 21st second. 21st second. Look at, look at the funnel cloud. Look at the funnel cloud, frame by frame. Oh, yeah, you can see it moving. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's clear. It's really good footage. That is. Yeah, you can really see that uh, really sharp see. edge on the right. Let me... So people can see it right here. So... You can see it really yeah, well. Again, and then it just moves off off screen really quickly. You can really and see how the air is sucked this way. I'm looking at radar imagery right now, and of course I'm not an expert, but I yeah. wouldn't necessarily say that this is a debris ball, but it, it kind of looks uh, intriguing, not intriguing, it, it, it's not a good sight, what I'm seeing here. Yeah, no, yeah. That does that's not definitely a scary radar image. That's why we carried up a higher risk on this uh, area. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if there's a new radar update on the Champagne. And it's sadly so. verified. The yeah, champagne who... cell looks to have. Bound of the but. Bound of the might be region. trying to reorganize itself, so. I wouldn't shrug it off yet. The cell's very strong. I'd expect it to blow up around the. After Alzata and Matt's area. Those two areas is uh, where it's possibly going to explode before heading into Germany. A lot of small cells also going. So are complete with strong straight line winds, large hail, possibly lots of rainfall. Uh, stage four highest warning was issued by the Deutsche Wetterdienst of Kölnstown, Arweiler. Don't think I think I watched that. Did I, Nick? Yeah, sort of. Mm, yeah, yeah. So. It's for the highest level warning down, is Arweiler, Palabon, and Korbach. So, are there any observations yet of rainfall in the areas that have been mentioned? Uh, 
Because uh, without him, uh, it's hard to s estimate it. One second. Uh. There seems to be a Hukako near Erfurt in central Germany. Easy. And it has rotation. No, it had. Had. It has. It has. It still has rotation. All right. So I found it's new damage images from the bird. It's south of Erfurt. Oh Jesus, Thuringia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh my God. It's a whole roof swept wow. out. So uh, we don't know if this was a tornado or not, but it looks like there's there a lot is of some damage. serious suspicion it's a tornado. What a day. This is definitely straight line winds this year. This however looks more tornadic. If you look at how it's uh, affected the area. It's really local right here. Like too local to be a microburst. Let's see if there's any news. Um, there it is. Oh. Yeah, due to a fierce thunderstorm earlier this afternoon, there's major damage in the southeast of the Netherlands. It's probably a short-lived tornado based on radar images and footage. And there oh. is some... Uh... Oh dear. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that is... Quite um, severe. Let's see if there's any observations of rain from the northern Netherlands. Uh, let's see where there are observations. Still 20.5 degrees Celsius in the eastern part. Winds relatively low. Visibility is really low right here. About three and a half kilometers. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to switch over to Nick's radar. Yes. Yeah, so I believe now, according to that radar, most of it's cleared Paderborn, I want to say. It's move, moving eastward. Mm. Um, so where's this cell tracking next? Uh, it appears the next biggest city is probably going to be Hextail. All right. If we look at the movement of the cell, that might just directly go into Hextail. So that might just be two, I guess, bigger towns to be hit. Um. Okay. Otherwise, we also have a couple of other cells, I believe. Uh, what Jakob, uh, Jakob said. Air Force had... Well, Thuringia had something interesting, especially this thing. Which appears to be another hook. Oh, not again. Um... Yeah, that's a hook echo. That is a hook echo. All right. That's it's it's a if I'm not wrong. Okay, we could count. We wouldn't just do right now, but I look at things. We have one. Oops, that was the wrong thing. But this also looks interesting. Can you look at the Ransbach Bombach? Best of all. Okay. There seems to be a textbook supercell right in the area of Mount Power. Could you say, uh, tell and me Koblenz. what state, if possible? Oh, that's uh, a Koblenz best about RLP. Um, I'm sure it's in discussion. 
That's a really powerful cell. That's well pronounced hook echo and strong and flow it looks like. Wish we had some cameras to look at the storm from the ground. Because uh, yeah, without it it's always harder to interpret what's happening down there. Because for the same sake it's a well developed message cyclone and nothing ever touched down. Um super sub supercell the to the south of Erfurt is hooking right now and uh, it clearly has a TVS. Uh, where is that? Erfurt. Yes. It's uh, central Germany. It's like below Hamburg, but in the center. Um, okay. It has a really strong rotation in it. Let's see. I'll just okay, grab can... my red on my phone. So okay, I'm gonna see. stream it. I'm gonna stream it right now. Yeah, I'm. I'm currently showing it. All right. So let me see on radar if there's a. Uh, Okay. Potential tornado on there. So, what's the most, what's the major uh, radar site nearby? By the cell? Uh, if possible, if Airfoot has a radar, then I, I would probably go for that one. And near Paderborn right now. Um, let me see, Hanover. Look at this beautiful here. rotation. Oh my god. That's massive. Uh, this is in which region exactly uh, again? Hildburghausen. What's the biggest... Uh... City nearby, like Air, very nearby. Airport. It's Airport. The second one is uh, Airport. Zul, Meiningen, Meiningen or Zul. Uh, Meiningen. All right. I got a cell in uh, on the radar right here. Let's see if there's not very well defined rotation on the radar. Looks like it's still a broad mass cyclone. Yeah, that that. That hook echo died as well. It was an attempt, didn't succeed. That's broad. But That's still quite bring a lot of severe rain. Uh, yeah. As you can see here with these purples. Yeah, it's um, not rotating all that fast. Okay. Um, any large cells I need to watch right now? Let's see, is there a mirror back? And uh, nothing there. Frankfurt. Okay, it looks like there's in the west near Koblenz still. A, there's a strong developing cell right there with a discrete one to its southwest. Uh, let's get the closest radar. Yeah, the southwest of Koblenz, south of Cologne, there is a uh, developing supercell, it looks like, if not already, a supercell. Um, how unstable is the atmosphere right now over the uh, eastern Germany area, Jacob? So, for the eastern Germany, we are looking for a full-blown uh, bow echo. Uh, which will arrive near Leipzig or Dresden around uh, 20 Z or uh, 10 p.m. local time. And then it will move towards uh, Poland uh, region uh, Szczecin, Zielona Góra, Wrocław, uh, Legnica. Uh, with uh, main threats, uh, gale force winds, a lot of rain, hail up to 2 cent centimeters. But uh, that's all, I think. No tornado threat is expected for Poland and Eastern Germany. Uh, here you can see satellite imagery of the latest few hours. You can really see how the cells have 
blown up in size as they encountered mm. those highly unstable conditions in the central parts of Germany and the western. That looks to be more multicellular. Um, the, so the cell to the west of the Luxembourg is also blowing up right now, as you can see. Yeah, that that's the champagne cell that's blowing up then. then. Let's see if I can get a closer look at it. Yeah, got a radar close, but not close enough. Looks like it's trying to organize a bit. But it's not really going that far, so let me check the light imagery. Yeah, that cell's really trying to get going now. Uh, we got a damage video, it looks like. Okay. Uh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of down branches. Where is it from? Uh, I'm not sure. Possibly um, Based on earlier tweets by the person, I believe it's around Paterborn. Could be, yeah. yeah. a lot of damage. Let's see if there's any news recording Paterborn. Sure. There's an image oh of God. the skies there. On earlier tweets, wow. but Let's say that's developing Arcus Cloud, um, which means strong winds are really there's more footage from, from Paderborn. That's a lot of rain. That is a lot of rain. That's definitely going to cause some uh, flooding issues somewhere ahead. Yeah, that's, that's flooding. There uh, have been flooding reports uh, in large parts of the southern Netherlands as well. Underneath bridges, especially, is uh, our tunnels flooded. Um, let's see, is there any radar update? And of course, the champagne cell is not for done, so it's trying to regain itself. It's merging with a small other cell, that's why it's blowing up. Uh, Amnevil is uh, right on its path. Okay. And looks yeah, like the cell that we're looking at has gone right over Verdun. Um, yes, it's uh, there's likely been very powerful rainfall there, as indicated by those pink colors. Yeah. And potentially even hail for lambs, for lamb, I must say. No, there is definitely hail. Yeah, that really, that looks very. Very heavy. Yeah, that's a hail core. All right. So, how large is the hail that are that is um, associated with cells generally? I heard that uh, the similar uh, supercell near Düsseldorf uh, made hails that was measured six or seven centimeters. Want to say, and um, the cell near Verdun just blew up again. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's uh, it's developing a mesovortex. There's an, another radar image from Germany. Jesus, look at our wow. cells. That is a lot. That's huge. That almost makes me think: Are we in America nowadays? Uh, no. This just doesn't feel European at all. This like is... we we all learn tornadoes don't occur in Europe, and yet we see radar images like this, which I would normally associate it with uh, central parts of uh, Tornado mm. Alley. Alex, I uh, have one thing to show for you. All right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, this is super zone to the south of um, you know Erfurt. It's regaining strength and it's hooking right now. Oh, it's Again. that cell. That's the one we just saw. Yeah. Wow. That's um, that's a rotation. Yeah, if you're in that, that's almost yeah, it, even. Okay. Uh, that's, for a moment, that's for a moment, I thought that it was a splitting supercell, but uh, it's not. It's just. 
Yeah, it's, it's just a super slow super going, sad. going crazy. It's a young one. It looks like a spit off a uh, not a massive scale convector system. Yeah. So it's that's also a possibility again. that uh, new cells form from larger systems. Um, so this is which cell? Uh, it's it's to the south of Erfurt, in Erfurt, uh, Erfurt in uh, southern in central Germany. Let me get there again. It also dropped there it is. Uh, around three centimeters of rain. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, okay, I got a radar image. Is it this cell to the south of? To the north of Schlesingen? Because that's a very well pronounced hook echo. Uh, to the uh, to the east of Meiningen. Uh, yes, we're looking at the same cell. Yeah, we are looking at the now, same. Let me share the radar with you. Uh, if you like discussion. There it is. Oh my now. god. It's crazy. There's the radar image I've just put on my phone. It's this is the same nuts. cell. That just... This yeah. really if you're in any part area. of this thing, make sure you're keeping an eye on the sky. Before you know it, there's a tornado on the ground and you have to take a shot. So be prepared. Let me check velocity readings on this. Um, and yeah, this event now definitely has been uh, a rotational worse than I anticipated. Uh, velocity. That's trying to form a couplet to the north of Schlesien. It's about 26 miles an hour rotation for now. Not all too fast, but it's rotating. Yes. Small area. Um, and you can also see those small cells to the south of it. Those there's, are another, cells, there's another frame of radar. Um, oh my let's god. Let's see if there's any more cells to get enormous. Here. Okay, that's that cell's definitely enormous. Oh I oh don't my. have vertical cross section, sadly, but this is looking like a super. Now we're that's looking at the potential tornado. That's going to drop down a tornado if it completes. Yeah, it's about to drop it. That's a massive super so. Yeah, this is definitely the most organized one of the day so far. Well, except the. Uh, how is the. What was the place again? Um, yeah, Lipstadt, Paderborn. Those two cells. It's definitely one of the best of the most organized ones of the day so far. The cells gaining strength by the looks of it, as it's still in very unstable yeah. conditions. Absolutely, looks to be gaining strength. Um, we will obviously be we'll stay on the air for at least a while uh, to cover this yeah I think we'll have to stay about on the air for about half an hour to an hour more at most to cover most of the event and after that it should slowly start becoming less as the storms have used up most of the instability available to them okay so I suggest we take a break for 10 minutes on top of the hour, and then we'll continue bringing updates. So Jacob, is there any yeah, specific thing people need to watch out for if there's a sail heading their way? Like, how do you recognize if a tornado is potentially coming your way or if you're in a path of large hail? So if you are in the way of a tornado, or if you see the tornado, or if you think that you might get hit by a tornado, 
get shelter, go to your basement or go to the center, central part of your home. Or if you are outside, go to the first shelter that uh, you can find. Or if you are in the open, uh, go to the south of the tornado because it decreases the chance of hitting you, actually. Because all the cells today are going uh, to the east or northeast. East or northeast. So, and what's about the amount of precipitation that's generally going to fall within our worth of time in most areas? Uh, we are looking at around 30 to 40 millimeters of rain right now from every cell. That's like three to four centimeters, if I got a conversion. Three or, right. three or four centimeters. Yeah, so you definitely don't want uh, that much rain in such a short time, especially in a drought. And uh, all of it, we are expecting to form a very broad and big uh, linear, one linear storm and uh, go to the east. All right, so it looks like the sluicing itself has degraded a slight bit with its hook, but I would definitely not just uh, shrug it off right now as it's still got this hook echo. It might be trying to form a bound weak echo region. Or BWER. Oh, so apparently that someone's pointing out there's a potential what they call a tornado debris signature on radar. Mm -hmm. It was on radar. Don't think I'm seeing that anymore. It might as well be radar spikes if I look at surrounding precipitation patterns. It looks like the beam of the radar. Yeah, that's following the beam of the radar, so I wouldn't say that's tornado debris signature. Um, let's check the cell mirror. Uh, someone on, again. Uh, on our live chat said that uh, orange warning from uh, uh, Czechia Weather Service. Uh, for Czechia, we are expecting a bow echo with uh, 19 to. 100 km per hour wind gusts, but no tornadoes, only only rain and some hail. But downbursts or microbursts also can happen, because there's a lot of rotation in these storms and they can blow up really easily. To explain to the people here, we don't know what the bow echo is, but it is the bow echo. A bow echo is just a very big linear uh, thunderstorm that brings out of uh, that brings severe wind gusts. It's, so it's, it's the easiest basically a very large thunderstorm complex, which has the shape of a bow and is accompanied with strong rainfall and heavy wind gusts. Yeah, and wind gusts, mainly wind. And gusts. would there be a danger for tornadoes in such systems or not? Uh, it's uh, there is a slight risk for tornadoes in this system on the southern tail of it. So on the southern end of the, uh, let's check out satellite imagery. Uh, also, can I want to point out, out one thing. I want to point out one thing for now that uh, four by four uh, Swiss model nailed all of it. It's yeah, going I want to say at Harmony and Swiss are both nailing it right now. Yeah, it's they are nailing it really hard nearly 95% of uh, verifiability. Yeah. That's What's sick. crazy is, even though Harmony has a much lower resolution to us available, it did nail those embedded supercells in small areas of Limburg with this potential for large hail, storm force, straight line winds, and potentially short-lived local tornadoes of F0, F1 strength or greater. So that's a really impressive feat for a massive scale model. It can easily down trees, actually. Let's see. That's storm. Looking at those imagery of Modus Terra really makes me think about 
how rare such situations are. How often does it occur in Europe that in May we're seeing an outbreak we would already even see in June, July? Like, it's a really rare phenomenon. Those cells in Germany have now really uh, reached uh, about their maximum heights and intensities. Some it's are merging and others actually. are still springing up. And this cell near Champagne looks to have blown up as well as it nears Luxembourg. Just as forecast. Um, let me check live set by imagery. Yeah, those are definitely massive cells. If you look at this right here, I'll count them. I'll just do it like this. So we got a massive cell right here. That's the other the first one that right here. It's, uh, this it's... is the largest one. I'll just give it another color. The first one that you marked is actually an Air Force Supercell that hooked uh, a while ago. So this is the Air Force Supercell? Yeah, that's the Air Force one. So no, I'll call it Air Force. That's the Air Force one. Also, we can easily see that uh, everything is uh, trying to go linear mode. And it might reach uh, Prague. And also it might reach Pilsen, uh, Karlova Vare. So this uh, is champagne cell right here in pink on the bottom left. This one is on yeah, the scores. That's also this cell has hooked before, so and we know it's currently merging with another one right here. We got one, we got two, one, two, of which the top one is dominant. And the course of this cell looks to be this direction. This is the movement factor. Those cells here are moving also in this direction, whilst those are moving up. And those are moving this way as well. So and this cell is a bit of a different one. It's moving a lot more east. So what makes this situation so dangerous is a massive amount of instability. So right here is what we call a trough. So there's colder air, a small area of the atmosphere than its ambient environment. Um, here looks to be another one in this accent. Yes, right here. And up here looks to be as well. Whilst there's a front that's marked out in this area. That's a cold front, whilst the warm front is positioned like this ish at the moment. So, this is a forming low pressure system and with low pressure area right here. And so, with this convergence zone ahead, air is pulled inwards like this, and this fuels those cells. The airflow at the moment is from the south to the north. So we're getting moisture all the way from Iberia all the way into Germany. Whilst from the north, there's colder polar air being pulled. Let's choose a different color. Colder polar air being pulled in. So what happens when these air masses clash? This happens. Um, what we're seeing right here screen. This is the result of those clashing air masses and high instability values as a drought continues. We'll be back in 10 minutes as we're taking a short break. We'll see you then. We're off air? <laughs> 